everyone, this is Mike from Range Time Network. I'm out here with Desert Design and Development, uh, out here with James Sito. He's, uh, his company's going in and creating a 9mm AR, and as you know, I've been doing a lot of um, videos on the 9mm platform. Uh, as I said, it's an up-and-coming uh, re-emergence of the submachine gun. This is a full auto model for law enforcement that they're in development with. So let's go have some fun, take some rounds out, and uh, it's fully... Uh, suppressed it's an integral suppressor is really hot man this is awesome and not hot as in the touch but hot as in man this thing is quiet sweet up switch it's quiet Take it out 25 yards. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> it's too much fun. All right, try it out 25 yards. Sweet, six inch plate, 25 yards, easy. Wrong way. I'm telling you, this gun is great. <laughs> Too much fun. All right. So this is our uh, our flagship product, the D3 9SD. This is a integrally suppressed 9 mm carbine that gives you the familiarity of the AR platform while utilizing a barrel and suppressor system that's really similar to the HK MP5 SD. And uh, also gives you the uh, ability to shoot with your Glock Max. Uh, Glock uh, firearms are very popular in the law enforcement community and in the civilian community. There's tons of them out there, so we decided to, to build this platform utilizing the same mag, so this way you can just go from your sidearm right to a, a suppressed carbine and not have to worry about carrying additional magazines. So our D3 9SD is built off an AR platform, so you have the familiarity of an AR. It is a direct blowback system, so it utilizes a traditional 9mm bolt. Uh, this particular one here is cut for the use of the Glock mags. The lower is complete style AR, so you can you can swap out to a, a drop-in a, a fire group if you want to, uh, change out uh, your, your selectors, um, grips, stocks, everything is same as a traditional AR, except it utilizes the Glock magazine. Our upper is also traditional AR upper. We have the nine millimeter cover to allow you to eject and keep some of the, uh, the gases that may come back to your face, but, it'll, but there isn't very much to begin with. Uh, we've utilized uh, the uh, air precision upper here because of the strong foreign style. It allows us to take the suppressor and sunk it all the way down to here, a full 12 inches down, bury that barrel in and maintain fantastic rigidity, especially when you're firing in, in full auto mode. Uh, for law enforcement, they'll be using this to lean against walls and barriers. The air precision upper is intensely strong and it, it will definitely take all the punishment. So how many rounds do you think we fired through this so far? Mm, About 150. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So suppressor, it's warm, but not scalding hot or you can't pick it up. And our barrel, see here but yeah. it comes up to right about here so you get 6.75 inches of rifling which allows us to maintain really tight accuracy and um, maintain some good velocities and we have our ports strategically placed to allow us to bleed up that those gases so whether you're running uh, 115 grain uh, hyper velocity or even the uh, the 85 grains uh, in the crazy hyper velocity rounds out there um, they'll drop it down to subsonic awesome regular it's 115 ball ammo uh, just for comparison between this and the MPX that's hurt my ears Again, 
no, hands down, you know, this is definitely way quieter. Hey, I just want to go and thank uh, HPR. They donated a generous amount of am ammunition uh, for the shoot today. Today we're shooting their uh, 115 grain, nine millimeter, uh, what is it, hyper clean ammo. And it really works well out of this. And uh, I still uh, was running it through my MPX, loving it. Good, good ammo. So thanks a lot, uh, HPR. Really appreciate it.